I don't know what's going on today, guys, but Streamlabs is just not agreeing with me. It keeps, like, lagging out or something. Let me try this again. I just won the championship. I lost that first time, and then I just won the second time. But... Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a jewelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned a tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Yes. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Lost to a new student? Hmm, I didn't see that coming. The best duelist won, I suppose. Oh, did you hear about the new spell we're learning in charge? I can't wait. Find anything yet? Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky. Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round Weasley's office might yield anything interesting. Damn, I think I just missed out on some gear, because I'm full. I need to go to Hogsmeade. Fudge. We're going to do that right now.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. to see you again. Farewell for now. Hogsmead, here I come. I can't go meet her until I learn how to fly, dude. There's no way. I'm not running that whole way. I guess, uh... Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. 
We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bulb. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Rapero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting table. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. I did tell you not to put... Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spell. It's to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. It's my favorite place in the entire school. If I didn't have that fireplace to sit next to, I think I should be terribly homesick. Disney's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Ah, 
done. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganwell's potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. What should I be doing right now? I'd like you to get some hands-on experience with the Chinese chomping cabbages. They're in the greenhouse, just across the footbridge. Mr. Pruitt will assist you with them. Your weeds possess their own... rugged form of beauty. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there, but your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Ravenclaw too. At least you did. Better not talk shit about Ravenclaw, bitch! Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Oh, yeah. building tatters. Accurate. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Accio! Helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. On, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. I 
drink anything, but we must first understand it. in the great hall. Professor Black glanced at me the other day in the Great Hall. I spit out my breakfast. I'm not sure it sent the right message. Not the best idea to start a search with the boys from my dormitory. I'm glad there's a slithering in into our Rebellio. Nice to see you, my young friend. Incendio.
Revelio.